Hi, and welcome to this video lesson about Folsom Prison Blues by Johnny Cash. In this video, I'm going to show you the Luther Perkins part, the intro, the rhythm part, and the guitar solo. I hope you enjoy it. We start on the A string, second fret, which we play three times. Then we play the D string on the first fret twice. Back to the A string, second fret again and then the 2nd fret on the bottom E string. Bend it up, release it, and then the bottom E open. And this is how it goes. With the picking hand we play this part very close to the bridge to add a little bit more twang. Can you hear that? This part varies depending on which version you're listening to. I'm just going to show you the most common pattern, the one that Luther played most of the times. Hold on an E chord with your fretting hand while with the picking hand you pick the bottom E, the D, the A and again the D string. We pick them while slightly muting the strings with the side of the hand, like this. Okay. We do this for seven bars. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then play the bottom E open twice. 2nd fret followed by the 4th fret. Now play an A chord in any way you feel comfortable with. Like this, like this, they're all good. With the picking hand play the A string, the D string, the bottom E and then again the D string. In the same way as before, always muting the strings with the side of the hand. Okay, like this. And we play the A chord for four bars. One, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four. Then again the E chord exactly as before for four bars. One, two, three, four. And finally we get to the B7 chord. Play the B7 like this and move the second finger back and forth between the bottom two strings. While with the picking hand we play the A string, the D string, the bottom E and again the D string, like this. Okay. Now we play the B7 for four bars. One, two, three, four. Two, Then we finish the verse with two more bars of E. One, two, three, four, one, two. The solo starts on the B string where we play the 8th fret and hammer on the 9th. Then we play the top E string 7, 10, 7, 10, 7. So this is the first phrase. The second phrase is pretty similar to the first one. We play again the 8th, hammer on the 9th, then the top E string, 7, 10, 7, 10. So this is the second phrase. The third phrase is exactly the same as the first one, so again... The fourth phrase is again very similar but has a different ending. 
we play 8 hammer on the ninth then again 7 10 7 10 then we slide the entire position three frets down and we play 7 4 and 5 on the B string so this is how the last line goes Phrase 5 starts with an open A string, then we strum this A chord. It's just the top three strings where we play the second fret on the G, second fret on the B, and fifth fret on the top E string. And we strum it down, up, up, down. So the entire bar goes like this. The next phrase is pretty similar. We start again with the open A, then we strum the same chord as before, down up. Then the top E string and the B string, both open. And this is how it goes. Phrase seven starts with the six frets on the G string, fifth on the B and fifth on the top E string, followed by the open E and the open B string, like this. The last phrase in A starts with the ninth fret on the G string, ten on the B and nine again on the top E string, followed by an open E and an open G string like this. Then we go back to the E chord. Play the bottom E, then strum the chord down, up, up. Then play the open G string, like this. repeat that four times. One, two, three, four. We finally got to the B7 chord. Play the B7 like this, pick the A string, then strum the chord down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, like this. And we do this twice. Then we play the A string on the second fret twice. First fret, then second fret on the bottom E string. Bend it up, release it, and then go back to the rhythm part. So this is how the last phrase sounds. Okay, this is pretty much it, but before I leave you, let me just say one thing about the key of this tune. Folsom Prison Blues is normally played in E, like I showed you, but if you try to play along with the original recording, the 1957 recording, you will notice that the key is F, slightly sharp, it's not E. So if you want to play along with that, you might have to use a capo and tune the guitar slightly sharp. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and don't forget that if you go to my website you will find a baking track for free. Take care and I'll see you soon.